it's not like the kids didn't know who I was. I'm in the building every day. I've been teaching at Westlake for a while now. So um, that interaction of just me seeing them every day, even before I became the coach again, um, just made the transition smooth. Uh, it's been really nice having him back. I mean, my he, my brother played on him when they went to the playoffs in 2016, I believe. So it was nice having him back, bringing those coaches with him. A lot of experience and great coaches, honestly. You know, we put together, I think, a really veteran staff of former coaches and guys that have done it a long time. So, um, you know, you win with people, and I think we have a great group of people working with us. What's Coach Hall's been message been? Uh, don't worry about the past years. Kind of focus on this year, what we can do to make it different and get better this year. I mean, it's great. He's just having a positive effect on everyone here. He's getting everyone in check. Um, he's leading us. He's brought in great coaches, obviously, and we have a lot of experience with our seniors now, so I think we're going to be great. We met, you know, we had a cookout at my house with the seniors, and we, you know, we talked about leadership. And the one thing I believe in is if you're a great leader, people follow you just naturally. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how loud you scream. You don't have to be a loud screamer. Leaders get, have the ability to get people to follow them. And so I challenge them with leading with action, you know, like how you practice, how you handle yourself, what you do in between plays, how are you in the weight room. Those are the type of leading things that a young kid says, oh, Will's doing that? I'm gonna do that. We're getting our like keys and movements down. We're, we know all the plays, we're helping the younger kids and we're helping them lead. Speaking of younger kids, a sophomore quarterback that's about 6'4", oh, 6'5". Yeah. I mean, tell me about Sam and what he brings to the oh, table. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of potential. He's tall. He's He can get out the pocket. He can throw. He's got everything he's got, and we believe in him. What I like about Sam is he takes it personal when he makes a mistake, and he, but he's also he's got a pretty laid-back personality. So you can say stuff to him and just look at you and... You know, he's also one of those guys that you don't have to coach him too hard because you know he takes his mistakes hard already. So, but uh, his growth from June till August has been uh, has been huge. He gets better every time we're on the field. I thought he had a great first scrimmage, so we'll see how he does in our, our second scrimmage and going into week one. I like our uh, work ethic. I like how we've been pushing it so far. We're not giving up, and we're having long practices, but we're sticking with it, and we're getting through it. How much do you feel like you guys need those long practices? I feel like we need them because late in the fourth quarter, we're going to need to be in shape and condition, and the other teams, we need to make sure we're ahead of them.